New Year, same old Raw. Yes! I'm John Ritlin, this is... The Derminator. By the way, if you haven't checked out the channel update video, well, I mean, podcast, do that. You'll get some tidbits about stuff you can expect. Also... And look, a new background. A very new background done by the Derp. If there is... A lot of snow. You might be getting solo reviews from me, or we might trade off. But I'm not gonna drive down. Solo my Solo came out a while ago, though. Did it? Was it last year? Yeah. Or was it 2018? At least last year. Okay. <laughs> um. So anyway, <laughs> on the off chance that there is snow and we, uh, anybody gets snowed in, guess what? Reviews done by me, or reviews done by Derb. But I'm not going to risk driving down my hill. Anyway, so yeah, this show isn't going to take very long. 30 minutes later. Right. Um, Raw from Oklahoma City. What are you calling this today? Okay. Oklahoma. Because that's about what it was. It started out. It's okay, see? It started out fine and then got bad. And because we started with recaps of the wedding shit. Because apparently we aren't allowed to have nice things. It started nice off bad. It did. It got better. Well, and then it got horrible. A little better, and then it got substantially worse. And it got substantially worse for a few reasons. You might hear me get a little angry during this. I won't yell though. Um, Bork and the Hayman. So we get Brock is going to be number one in the Rumble. At least he's not going to be number thirty. This is true. He, he was in two thousand. No, that was twenty nine. No, he was 30 in the in the 2003 Rumble. Anyway, so we get this. Brock oh. is going to be number one in the Rumble, and he's going to be the first man to enter the Rumble and go the distance since Shawn Michaels in 1995. No exactly. other person, no other person yeah. has done that. Not, no, not, not a single. No not other. Single move. My no is. other. You okay? What? <laughs> man. All right. Those anyway. jokes will never get old, just like Daniel. Anyway, Ooh. so what? We were all... It was me. So, it was typical Heyman promo, but okay. Yeah. For the love of God, have somebody good eliminate him. It's going to be Cain Velasquez entering and winning the Rumble. I mean, Graham had the great idea of having Matt Riddle pop in at number two. (laughs) I, however, have a better plan. Matt Riddle should go to the Royal Rumble, pop up at number four, realize he's in the wrong spot, and then come back out at number 20. If you can't do the math on that one... Maybe put down the devil's lettuce and think a little harder. Look, the whole point is is we're just trying to be a joint effort with jokes. So, yeah. there we go with that. So, okay, typical stuff is what it is. Um, Brock needs to never be champion after Mania. Just yeah. stop it. Just stop it. Seriously. You want to have him re-sign after this, and you want to have him have some occasional matches, fine. But stop making him the champion. Because I forgot the WWE Championship existed. He's Universal. No, no, yeah, he's the WWE. Yeah, team. because Universal is on Bray. That's right. Uh, but anyway, we then said, uh, with Vic, we now go back to Sarah Schreiber, and we have Rey Mysterio cutting a promo for like a minute before Sarah yeah. enters the frame. The, the false promises! This is not Sarah Schreiber! Sarah, Sarah, by the way, looking great, but just seriously, if you're going to say cutting to somebody, have the person actually on screen. Nothing against Rey. <laughs> um, but then we have Rey versus Andrade. And it's a U.S. title match. Two Hispanics fighting over the U.S. title. Yes. Trump's Who would have pointed that one out? Trump, you did. What? But it's Trump's least favorite uh, match. Anyway. Um, there was this one point where it was a bad stomp botch because Andrade was trying to stomp him into the apron, the hardest part of the ring. Mm-hmm. And then Ray, like, Whoa. waited. And then because Ray was laying down, or, like, you know, was kind of draped against the post, Andrade just decided to do the stomp, and it just looked really bad. Yeah. Look, botches happen, but just Andrade is too much of a professional. Ray is as well. I mean, it's just, I don't know. So, good exchanges. We get a foot on the rope because Lena does that. So, the match gets restarted. It's not like the commercial break match shit that they did for yeah. a while. Two out of three falls. Every match is two out of three falls. Remember how that seemed to go on forever? Because it did. Because yeah. it did. Um, Zelina, you know, suddenly gets uh, attacked by Ray. You know, Ray's taint just right in her face, for God's sake. That's what it was. She got, he got launched over there and knocked down Zelina, and that's because she was shorter than him, and Ray just couldn't stand having somebody shorter than him around the ring. Mm, he has a reverse Napoleon complex. <laughs> Don't anyway. It makes me laugh. Um, but uh, this weird exchange Gosh. of, like, Ray checking out a... I forgot all about that movie. 
Ray checking in on Zelina. It was a really awkward thing where he's like, wait, don't have him beat me yet. I need to go check on Zelina and make sure this is okay. And they dragged this out, and then he got beat. It was really weird. Yeah. And then Andrade steals his mask after he wins. Yep. Yeah. Uh, not because he's Hispanic. And then manages to get... I was going to work that joke in here. And Zelina then gets the mask as a peace offering. I guess she's going to wear it for Alistair later. I don't know what's going on. This is weird. Weird. And, I mean, we get this address later. So, okay. By the way, Lawler called Zelina Molina. If you don't get rid of this fucking pedo asshole soon, somebody should. Yeah. Fucking hell, Vince. I know that they're not the same. Zelina isn't making apologies for, you know, a sexual assault guy. Like Molina did. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, Joe and Owens are there, and they're gonna have a three-on-three -three match, but Joe wait. Owens. They have a third guy. Who is the third man, but whose side is he on? Anyway, yeah. um, we find out later who it is. And Seth Rollins is being talked to by Charlie, and yeah. he says, well, we have, you know, we, it's like we, you know, have faced many challengers in the life. That's what he's he calling himself the Messiah of Monday Night. If it's meant to annoy me to the point I don't want to see Seth Rollins on TV, mission accomplished. If you're trying to make him a cool heel, this ain't Just it. Just because he looks like Jesus doesn't mean he is. He would have to look like somebody real. That That's the whole point. I mean, sorry, European Jesus. <laughs> Mr. Small Package wouldn't be peeing far. Anyway, look, it is what it is. And that... <laughs> We then get to Street Profits versus the Viking Raiders versus Gallows and Anderson. Street Profits cut a weird promo at first. I don't know what the smoke means. You kids talk weird. Stop talking so weird. Why do I sound so old? Man, I'm almost 39. You kids get off my lawn. Anyway. Uh, I'm um, just waiting for you to talk about any mud show wrestling. <laughs> I haven't. Fortunately, there's no audio of me throwing out the N-word. I had to address those things. There, there wasn't more. Um, but anyway, no, I already do that when I talk about all elite. By the way, don't say the N word or you're fucking dead to me. So, Street Profits, Viking Raiders, Gallows, and Anderson, Raw Tag Tiles, a three way with Orf. Well, not that N word. Alright. <laughs> so, it's a three way, all six man human centipede together. You knew. <laughs> it's cartwheel shit. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you for that. Yeah. It was good. It was a good, it was a good match with a bit. Can't do flippy shit? Do cartwheel shit. Uh, Montez Ford jumps seven feet above the rope. It's multiple times. Yeah. It's just fucking ridiculous. And then we have Angelo Dawkins, who is also... Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford are a great team. Yes. You never separate them. Angelo is dead in the water. He is the Tucker Knight to Montez Otis. He is the Marty Jannetty. Hopefully without wanting to fuck the woman he thought was his daughter. Oh, God, no, Mario Jannetty's gone off the deep end. More, oh, no, somehow. I, I remember that. Oh, no, no, more recently. Um, anyway, so yeah, this, the match is fine, everything breaks down, and Hanson, that's what they are, I'm not calling them by the stupid names, Hanson, Hanson bros, yeah, lands on, uh, crashes on Anderson, mm -hmm. it's like a Viking tank if they had those, and there we go, yeah, okay, match is good, so far, the two matches, fine, sure, okay, we had the Heyman Brock promo, but, at least it led somewhere he's going to be the number one in the Rumble. So, so far, so yeah. whatever. Joe and Owens. Who is the third man? Whose side is he on? Are they he's... get led along. Well, Charlie gets led along to a room in which the third man is hiding. And Owens takes a peek at N. He's like, ooh, uh, He's all excited because he knows who it is now. And, and Charlie. Charlie's like, well, who is it? And Owen bothers to just say... All right, as soon as they leave, let's go in. Yeah, but here's... Because Charlie is not a good journalist in that regards. I think he, Joe actually said lock the door, so Charlie couldn't get in there. Um, also, somebody pointed out, maybe it was Hogan. Well, Hogan wouldn't have been in a dark room. So anyway, um, Oof. Becky out in all yellow. Yes. You know she pays her mortgage because she really kills those bills. <sighs> By the way, watch Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Quentin Tarantino's latest movie. Yeah. Um, that was good, by the way. So, it, typical promo, she's talking about wanting to face Asuka. She's talking about maybe being scared to face Asuka because Asuka's the one person to beat her during this whole run, this build and stuff like that. They're building this story well. Can't wait till they fuck it up, mm -hmm. um, which hopefully they don't. 
is I think Becky might be hurt as to why they aren't having her wrestle as much, at least on TV. Or maybe they're just building a story and stuff like that and they're not having Asuka do much. Except Asuka comes out and yells in Japanese, which might be a kink of mine. But anyway, moving on from that. Yeah. Um, she does, you know, her stuff yelling and then Becky just drops her with a ha uh, right hand. Lacey is suing for trademark infringement. <laughs> but then what, again, the man's right? This is true. Well, see, that's why Lacey didn't win in Saudi Arabia, because a woman's right doesn't mean anything over there. Mm. So, um, okay, cool. You know what? Nice way to build it. Nice, simple way to build it. You got a couple weeks till the Rumble. Build this thing properly. And then we get Rowan walking backstage with the cage. And Mojo looks in the cage. He says, hey, wait, can I look in the cage? I'm asking nicely. Rowan's like, sure. And then lets him look in there. And then Mojo gets all frightened and looks. I don't know. Maybe Mojo saw his charisma. <laughs> Oh. oh, God, it's a mirror! God, poor Mojo. He's a good athlete, but I just don't care about him. Um, look. Remember when he won the Andre to the Giant Battle, Roy Battle Royale? Oh, God, he did. He won it in Orlando. Yeah, when Gronk. Yeah. And the security person stopped Gronk. Remember when we thought, oh, hey, they're going to do something important with uh, Mojo. Mm. And then they did not do the thing. Where's Apollo Crews been, by the way? And Paul Cruzan for a prison? Probably on main event. I haven't watched. Seriously, I have no goddamn idea. I don't know what brand he's on anymore. Put him back in NXT. What the what the fuck else? I mean, have him job like Killian Dane's been to. Um, so anyway, uh, we then get Ray attacking Andrade backstage, and he takes and he takes his mask. And meanwhile, Zelina's screaming. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, Zelina, get on a ladder. People might be able to hear you. So, look, Zelina's a great mouthpiece for oh, Andrade. Yeah. No, I don't mean like that. Get your I run a clean show. I was thinking it was my point. Anyway. I, I like that, though. I like the segment. Yeah. I liked it. Ray was a lot more focused. Yep. They um, kept it away from Ray's face, even though we all know what Ray looks like. Thanks, bitch off. Um, what do you think of that segment? Ray looked like he was 12 during... Oh, well, during uh, this segment. Um... Still looks like he's 12. <laughs> <laughs> Just has a beard now. Goatee. Goatee! That was terrible. Um, yeah, I know. Anyway. Um, yeah, hey, the, it, it was good. Yeah. It, but they're continuing the Andrade and Ray feud, which, I mean, they could have unlimited matches and they'd still be just as entertaining. Yeah. But at a certain point, you kind of got to get them moving on to something else. I think after the Rumble. That's my guess. Well, probably the night after the Rumble, we'll have something like that. They'll face off in the Rumble. We'll have this. And then Andrade will beat him, and then he'll go on and do something else. Mm -hmm. And then we get Rowan beating up a jobber. I don't care what's in the cage. I don't care. The jobber gets his face put in the cage, and he gets blood or something eaten off his face. I don't know. I don't care. Stop. Fucking stop. What does he have, like, a miniature Great Muda in there? Just <laughs> get, get this six-foot-eight ginger moron out of here. And I'm sorry. All, all respect to my ginger friends, but why is this fucker here? He's not any good. Sure, he may be a nice guy. Wonderful. So are a lot of people. This is a stupid storyline. Yeah, I, I always forget about it until it appears. I just don't get I don't get it. I don't know why. But yeah. anyway... What's the end game here? Oh, they're building it up. They're finally making it work dun. like something. <laughs> what? Dun, dun. <laughs> We're trying to get... Uh, 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 should be Hell 9000 in there. So, we get Styles versus Tozawa. He mocked Orton and he beat him with an RKO. That's about it. Yeah. That beat Tozawa with an RKO after bringing him back up and not pitting him. It was after the Phenomenal Forum. Yeah. Um, Phenomenal. <laughs> and takes out Orton next week. Yes. Uh, Styles, not Tozawa. That would be an. It, not that Orton beating up a brown person or anybody that's not white would be an, an you know, wrong for him. So, we then Oof. get a fan that ran into the ring, so we thought. Yeah. But it actually. And so did security, apparently. Yeah, which, and we actually thought that, but then it turns out, nope, it's the. Uh, the, the preacher guy who the, probably missed his cue. The only good part of that segment last week was that guy because at least he was hamming it up. We then get Lana and Lashley getting married. We we can't escape this. Why? Why won't you drop this? Vince, why won't why are we still here? Yeah, Vince, why won't you drop? Why won't you just drop off the face of the earth? Go do your XFL, have that fail, and then just vanish. Vanish yeah. forever. Anyway. Seriously. We then get Well, Lana loses her accent again. Yeah. Lana should not be allowed on TV, period. She shouldn't get the death threats. Nor should Lashley. That's bullshit. Yeah. There is no reason for this. 
There's no fucking reason for this. It's not entertaining. So. Be giant, what do you write to YouTube views? Well, congratulations, Logan Paul gets YouTube views, and that just proves YouTube's a fucking moronic cesspool sometimes. Hi, YouTube! There are some cool people on here. There are some cool people that run YouTube, but sometimes some of these channels are... What the hell? Anyway... 98% of our subscribers. You know who you are, you other 2%ers. What the fuck the 2%er ever do to you? Eh. You lied to me about milk. Anyway. <laughs> no, okay, nice. Again, Lana should not be allowed on TV. At all. She's horrible. Yeah. Uh, Rusev then does this horrible green screen thing and stuff like that. He's on a beach! Except he's not. And then... <sighs> I think they sold, he got sold that by the clones before they headed out. They are done. Finally. Thank God. Um, at one point, Lana's trying to yell at him. At least Lana told Lash... Or, Lashley told Lana to shut up. Thank fucking Christ, somebody told her to shut up. Shut up, take some goddamn acting classes, or, you know, take a freaking... Learn to do an accent consistently. Take, take a... You know, you've only had, like, five years to learn how. Take a fucking powder for all I care. Take some powder to the face. Anyway, wouldn't be the first time she did. I guess she's so, too busy rushing her lines. Aha! So, uh, Bruce has said the Bulgarian Brute's coming back and he's gonna face Lashley next week and okay, cool. This isn't the, if this isn't the end of the feud, I don't know what. Oh wait, it probably isn't because the truth interview. Liv interrupts and says, Ooh. I'm gonna be in Rusev's corner. You've killed Liv. You've killed her. Why even bring her back on TV? You've killed her. Rus Liv Day! Is probably what they're going to do. Y you know what? That should be a hashtag, actually, in the video. Um, seriously, stop. Make Raw interesting. Don't make it Attitude Era bullshit. And, oh, and I was told this on Twitter. You should have fun with wrestling. There's having fun with it, and then there's this bullshit. This isn't fun. Sorry. Uh, fan sign, Lana loves BBC. Thank you, fan, she, for doing I'm a that. big fan of Doctor Who as well. You know, I probably should have expected you to say that. Mm -hmm. I probably should have. Uh, we then get Charlotte and Sarah Logan having a brawl. Sarah Logan's just like, no, brawl. Hopefully not. Hopefully no one tears their ACL or tears yeah. their hamstring there. So, we, it was a thing. It happened. Um, lo, not lo, uh, Logan and, you know, Charlotte just beating each other up. Yep. Mounting, fisting, all that. Hi. Um, <laughs> Mooked on a feeling. We're high on believing. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So, we... It was fine. Yeah. It, at least I gave Sarah Logan something to do. I mean, I... Yeah, and she actually looked like she was doing something. I can't wait till they bury her three, <laughs> three minutes next week. Yep. So we then get Drew versus No Way Jose. The Rosebuds. I mean, the conga line is down. Yeah, uh, after he takes them all out and delivers a claymore to No Way Jose. And then he... Uh, go ahead. He asks the crowd, they want to see one more claymore kick. And the crowd is all behind Drew McIntyre. Yep. Because he's a sexy Scotsman. Um, he delivers another Claymore kick, and then he uh, says he's going to be joining the Royal Rumble. He said he didn't he, even drop the mic, remember that? Yeah, oh yeah, when he, he dropped the Claymore. The yeah. But he goes, because there can be only three, two, one. And that was a clever Highlander thing. You Lowland Scott. I, anyway. <laughs> is he? Is he I, from the Lowland? I, 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 I think he's from... Uh, Ayrshire, which is, I think, more lowland. I it, could be wrong. I, you would know more about Scotland geography it's than I would. It's a little south of Glasgow. Glasgow. So, um, anyway, yeah, that was now really I'm, creative. Now I'm curious. That was really curious by him. So, that was, uh, well, now you're curious. That was a really good line, though, by, um, Drew. Uh, we, yes, south of, south west of Glasgow. Ah, okay, cool. Uh, we then get Alistair versus Shelton. It's black on black violence <clears throat> in Oklahoma City. Yeah, it's like Bill Watts is booking again. So um, uh, Shelton seemed to have been uh, sandbagging him. Yeah, there were a couple times where uh, Alistair was trying to transition him to a move, and just Shelton wasn't. just wasn't doing anything. <laughs> is it that Shelton just doesn't care? I wouldn't blame he was him. He's supposed they... to be trying to put on a show that he was resisting. Yeah. In which case, there were better ways to do it. Yeah, this just didn't look that good. And it didn't really be... He did sell the black mask right to the face. Yeah. Um, but it was what it was. 
it was just very odd because it's like maybe the chemistry just wasn't there. Maybe Sheldon wasn't doing that. Sheldon does seem like a professional, but it was just very odd. Maybe it would help if he wrestled more on TV. So he looked like he gave a shit. I mean, then again, he'll just fade off into the distance. So uh, he's not EC3. I think he's injured now. I think he's been injured for a bit. Um, creative. I wouldn't know. Cre yeah, creative has nothing for him. Buddy then attacks Alistair, hits him with, you know, like a runny knee on, you know, on a chair, that kind of stuff. That was yep. good. They're building up this feud. I don't know what's going to happen at the Rumble. I don't know if they're going to, I don't know if they're going to have a match before the Rumble. Who the fuck knows? Um, we think it, the Monday Night Messiah thing, again, stop. Just fucking stop. Yep. Uh, and then uh, Samoa Joe comes out. Kevin, or well, first Kevin Owens, then Samoa Joe. And now the triple tag team has been realized. It's the Big Joins! Because it's the Big Show! He's back on Raw! For what reason? I don't know, it's like releasing a Greatest Hits album. Except you couldn't get some of the best songs, you just got that guy that you had turn around a bunch of times. Big Show, <laughs> in a match in 2020, is peak WWE not giving a shit. I have nothing against Big Show as a person. I'm glad he signed a contract with him. I'm glad that he's in, in great shape and that he recently had hip surgery. He's, you know, he's got a replacement hip. Great for him. I didn't give two fucking shits about Big Show being here. It was a DQ. And Rollins got carried out after being laid out. Yeah. Cool. Whatever. There was no purpose for Big Show being here. There are plenty of other talents that they could have brought in. They could have elevated somebody. <sighs> and they're doing uh, this next week. Yeah. I don't know who the fuck it's going to be. I don't care. I just D D D. I'm going D. I don't care. I mean, with the raid on Trotty match, the tag team match was good. There's a lot of good to it, but there was a lot of bad to it as well. Uh, C minus. Okay, that's fine. You and I uh, but there's a poll right over here. You can gray along with us. You could. Let us know what you think. You could do that. And uh, be like, no. You could be, you be like this guy. This guy's too angry. Look, I just watched three nights of New Japan Pro Wrestling, which I recognize is a different product. But look, it's if, a palate cleanser. If Raw is not even gonna try, why in the world? I review it so you don't have to. That's what we do. Yeah. But anyway. You agree, disagree with what we said? Hit the like button. Leave this a comment down below and let us know what you think. Hit the bell, by the way, the subscribe button, the bell, because apparently we've got like 800 something subscribers. I don't know how 800 of you like me, but thank you very much. Anyway, I'm John Ritlin, that is. The Durban Eater. We should be back Wednesday, provided we don't get snowed in. Huh. I hope no one hacks into us.